Uh, great. For our last presentation of the, uh, this first round, uh, I'd like to introduce a fellow puzzler and a uh, personal friend and business associate of Martin Gardner's, Kate Jones of Kate on Enterprises. I come with empty hands, but uh, if you like, there's a fly over there and a business card. Everything, all the stories are on our website uh, about Martin Gardner and the whole history of how I came to be where I am now. I first heard of Martin Gardner when, as a high school student, I was given a gift subscription to Scientific American as a scholarship. And I got this magazine for one year, and like my, the only columns that I could read and understand and, and to totally enjoy was his mathematics column, his games column. And that set a seed that lasted for a long time now. We couldn't afford to renew the subscription, so for 20 years or more, I was without. And I never dreamed, when I first fell in love with this uh, whole subject, that 25 years later, I would be spending a night in his house. I, I visited Martin in uh, North Carolina, and he invited me over. So I stayed overnight, we talked puzzles. And I'm also honored that he offered me to produce the two games that he had designed. And I have a sample of each of them sitting on the table here. The Game of Solomon and uh, the Lewis Carroll's Chess Word Game. So I have this as an exclusive in perpetuity, and I will continue to make them. They're on my website if any of you lust after them. <laughs> now, the thing that happened in between those 25 years, there was one very important connection that happened. Martin found out about pentominoes from the work that Solomon Gulam had done. And he wrote it into one of his columns, which I didn't see. By then my subscription had expired. It took 20 more years before I read the book by Arthur C. Clarke, in which he, Clarke, immor immortalized them, and gave full credit to Martin for having gotten him addicted. And that's what started me on the whole field of recreational mathematics. And because I'm the only one that I know of who has made a lifetime business out of this bug that Martin infected us with. And I call it recreational thinking, I call it recreational mathematics, because unlike you, the general audience is scared, is still scared of the word mathematics. Put the word recreational in front of it, great. Call it, call it playable art. And I have since then designed 198, I counted them last night, 198 uh, original sets, designs, puzzles, games that uh, we have introduced in the last 30 years. So for 30, the first 30 years, I have managed 198 and possibly that many in the next 30. So keep, on, keep track, the, uh, the website is gamepuzzles.com and everything about Martin and our whole history together is in there, including copies of special puzzles that I designed for the various gatherings for Gardner, based on the themes, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, and uh, I have a couple of samples here if you want to ask and look at them. You can download them and play with them, most of them are playable. And so the legacy continues, and I thank you. Kate has been bringing puzzles and geometric thinking and recreational mathematics to the world for more than 30 years, and it's, uh, it's wonderful. Can I put a PS on my speech? Yes. Can you hear me all? Yeah. Where I am different from you mathematicians and the magicians and everyone, I am totally glued to Martin's philosophical <laughs> side. He was a philosopher first before he was anything else, or a journalist. And that is my true passion, and of these, the games and puzzles I've designed are exemplars. They are paradigms of systems thinking. And one of these days, I hope to do my own book uh, on memes. For memes, I'm a meme hunter. And so I trace how ideas grow, how ideas become systems, how they take over, including pentominoes and everything else that grows from them. And mathematicians are the forefront, because they're the language of how things work that they're the language of what everything is made of that we keep pursuing more information about. So I am on Martin's philosophy 
branch. And the book will be out in who knows when, but I'm working on it.